Hello everyone and welcome to this week's behind the scenes devlog video and as I mentioned in the last video this week and last week I've been having a bit of time off a bit of a spring break to see some friends and family so last week there wasn't a video because I was in Wolfsburg over Easter and then my parents came to visit me in Berlin for a few days which was really nice we had a very good time and they also helped me plant out the balcony which was great it's looking nice and green now um, lots of herbs this year I thought it would be useful for my cooking but my parents left yesterday evening, so I'm getting back to work today, but I've only actually got two days to work this week because on Thursday I'm going off to Frankfurt and I'm going to be spending the rest of the week in Frankfurt and Munich visiting a few friends. So I've only got two days of work this week, so I need to get as much done as I possibly can and I'm going to be spending these two days working on the behaviour of the beavers. So getting started today by planning out some of the stuff that the beavers are going to be able to do and they're actually going to be able to do quite a few different things. They're going to be able to cut down trees, pick up sticks, build dens, eat bark and grass and leaves. Um, so quite a few new mechanics that I need to implement but it shouldn't actually take too long I think. A lot of these are quite simple and I've already got the basics of some of these things already programmed in the game like the building dens. So um, I should hopefully be able to get most of this done today. So first up today for the beavers, I've just been making a very simple addition to their movement code which now allows them to swim underwater. So you can see that when a beaver enters a watery area, it starts to swim slightly under the surface of the water and it can swim around happily there. And then when it goes back to the shore, it will start to swim slowly upwards uh, until when it reaches the edge of the water, it's perfectly at the height of the terrain. Next up today I've just been creating some very simple models for bits of tree and bark and twigs which are going to come off the trees when the beavers bite at them and the bark is going to be a food for the beavers and the twigs are going to be able to be picked up by the beavers and then they'll use them to make their dens. Um, so I've just been exporting these models, creating the entity files for them and I'm just about to add them into the game. So it's half past 11 now and I've just been doing a bit of work on the beavers AI so I planned it out and started implementing it into the code but at the moment it's all still very simple. Um, the beavers will just randomly go up to trees from time to time and cut them down. So the next thing I've been working on today is creating a particle effect for when the beavers cut down a tree. So you can see I've been creating that here and doing all the settings and you can see an example of that in the game here. Um, I had a little bit of trouble getting the particles to always shoot in the correct direction, always shooting towards the beaver, um, but after a bit of matrix maths I managed to get that all to work. To finish off this morning I just started work on allowing the trees to produce twigs and bits of bark when the beavers are cutting them down and you can see that happening here so as the beavers are cutting it down every now and again uh, just random bits of twig and bark will fly off and I've still got a bit of work to do on this but for now I'm going to stop and have some lunch. Back to work this afternoon now and I've just been making a few little tweaks and improvements to the bark and twig producing mechanic of the trees just making the trajectories look a little bit more realistic and uh, it all just looks a little bit nicer now. So next up I'm going to allow the beavers to pick up the twigs and then create dens. It is half past four and for the last couple of hours I've just been working on allowing the beavers to pick up and carry the sticks and to do this I created a new entity component which is the equip component and this basically allows an entity to carry other entities around and move other entities in the world. So I applied this entity component to the beaver and now in the game the beavers will search for nearby sticks and if they can't find any sticks they'll go and cut down a tree um, but if there are some sticks lying on the ground somewhere nearby then they'll go up to the stick, pick up the stick and as you can see they can now carry the sticks around in their mouth. So the next thing that I've been working on this afternoon is the models for the beaver den and you can see the various stages of creation for the beaver den here. Um, I'm not totally sure about these models, they didn't quite turn out how I wanted them to. 
Uh, so I'll probably have another go at them at some point to try and improve them a bit. But for now, I'm just going to use these as placeholders because I really want to get the functionality implemented and then another time I'll worry about how it looks. Um, but for now, I'm going to stop for a bit. I'm going to have some dinner. I'm going to try and make a vegetable curry tonight. And then I've got a completely free evening, so I should be able to get quite a bit more work done later. So for the whole of the evening today, I've just been working on the den building mechanic of the beavers and I've pretty much finished it off now. So you can see this beaver here, if there aren't any dens in the world, then the beaver will pick up a stick and it will create a new den and it will just place it somewhere fairly randomly like this beaver has just done here. And then after that, all the beavers in the local area will start collecting sticks and they'll bring them to the den and start building the den. And a lot of this functionality is pretty similar to how the bees build the hives and how the birds build their nests. So the den has build points and every time a beaver comes with a stick it will build it a bit so the build points will increase and as the build points increase the model stages increase as well so you can see that the den gets bigger over time. And I'm definitely going to make some new models for the dens because I really don't like these ones at all. But functionality wise this is now all working. It is 8 o'clock on Wednesday morning, today's the last day I have before I go off to Frankfurt, so I'm going to start off today by doing some editing for this week's video, which hopefully shouldn't take too long, I just want to get that out of the way, and then uh, later today I'll do some more work on the beavers. Half past 12 now and I got most of the editing done this morning so I'm back to work on the beavers now and I've just been doing some work on their eating functionality so now when a beaver is hungry it's able to munch on a bit of delicious bark. But now I'm going to stop for a bit, um, I'm out of food today so I need to go to the shop and buy something for lunch. So this afternoon I'm doing some work on a wood component which I can add to trees to specify certain information about their wood such as for example how long it takes that tree to get cut down by the beavers. So you can see here that the birch tree doesn't take long at all to be cut down, just one or two seconds, whereas larger trees like this one here take much longer to cut down and therefore produce more food and twigs for the beavers. So this means that you have to be careful about what type of trees you plant around the beavers because if you were to plant trees like birch trees, which don't produce much food, then the beavers will probably just cut them all down and wipe out the birch tree population. Next up today, I've been working on this bark percentage value, which probably should have a different name, but it basically represents how much of the stuff that comes off the tree is bark and how much of it is twigs. Uh, so for that large tree, you can see that I've set the bark factor to 0 0.1, so uh, the bark percentage is 10%, which means that 10% of the stuff that comes off the tree when the beaver bites it will be bark and 90% will be sticks. And you can see uh, that that is indeed the case. It is half past four now and I've just been doing some work on materials, so using the wood component I can now set the colour of the wood that a tree produces. So for example for this eucalyptus tree I've set the colour of the wood to be white, so you can see that when the beaver cuts it down it produces white twigs and white bark. And the next thing that I want to implement is that I want the colour of the dens that the beavers create to be based on the colour of the wood that they use to make it. So probably the final thing that I'm going to get done today is that I have now got the colour of the dens matching the colour of the wood that was used to make them. So for example, for this den here, this den is being made from the purple wood which comes from this spiral tree. And so you can see that the den itself is slightly purple. And again over here, there's a eucalyptus tree um, and the wood from that is being used to make this white den. And the colour of the den is actually calculated every time a stick is added to it. Um, so if you were to make half the den from purple wood and the other half from white wood, the final colour would be somewhere in between. Mm -hmm. 
So that is pretty much going to be it for this week. I need to finish off editing this video now and I've also got some packing to do because I'm leaving early tomorrow morning to go to Frankfurt. Um, but I'm going to be back early next week so I will have most of next week to work on Aquilinox and there will be a video next weekend. Um, also I'm going to be getting back to making tutorials uh, because it's been a while since the last one. I had a bit of a break after the animation tutorial series finished but there will be some new tutorial videos coming out very soon. But yeah, that is another week, another whole month of development finished. It's been a bit of a slow month, April, but I always knew that I was going to have a load of other stuff going on this month, so it was always going to be a bit of a slow one. But the good news is that in the next two or three months, I've really got very little else planned, so I should be able to make loads of progress and really start making some big steps towards finishing Aquilinox. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching this video. Do subscribe if you haven't already. Have a fantastic week and I will see you all next time.